All right, let's go ahead and simplify this problem. We've got a fraction with an exponent of 1 half. So to solve this problem, I'm just going to work in the parentheses first. And since we have division here, uh, the bases are just going to take the exponents and subtract the denominator's exponents, okay? So this is uh, how that should be written. So we got the 64, and there's no other bases of 64 here. And then I'm just working with the next factor, which is an x. And then I'll look at the exponents here. And you can see I got a 1 half. That's from the numerator. And I'm just going to subtract the exponent of x in the denominator, negative 2. Now be careful not to mistake that there are, this is a minus a negative 2, okay? So uh, the problem with that is that most people forget that that's a plus. So don't replace this negative for the minus, all right? It's minus a negative 2. Next up are my y bases, and this y has an exponent of 1. So I have 1 minus 4 thirds, like this. And then all of this is raised to the power of 1 half. So working with the exponents now, and I'm just working on the inside of the parentheses, uh, since both of these terms have fractions in the exponents, what I'm going to do is give each of these common denominators. So notice with the x, I took 2 over 1 and multiplied both the 2 and the 1 by 2, giving me 4 over 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's another way to look at it. And I'll do the same thing with the y's. Here in 4 thirds, I have a denominator of 3, so I just need to figure out what divided by 3 is 1. Well, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so I have 3 thirds there. And that, of course, is subtracting the 4 thirds from here. So we'll go ahead and close this up and give it a power of 1 half. And then we'll just simplify the exponents now. So looking at this, again, we can't do anything with the 64 because there's no other like terms with it. But we've taken the 1 and added the 4 because we have common denominators and given us a numerator of 5 there. And for the y, the exponent is negative 1, because 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And of course, this is over 3. So from here, I would use the power of a product rule in order to distribute that power of 1 half into the parentheses here. And if you don't know, the power of 64 there is 1. So I'm just going to multiply 1 half by each of these exponents. I'll write that out for you. So you can see in each of these, we're just multiplying these exponents by this 1 half. And I changed the color to green here because that's the color I used for distribution. And if we multiply these out, we get 64 to the power of 1 half, x to the power of 5 fourths, and y to the power of negative 1 sixth. So we're just multiplying these fractions, numerators and denominators, straight across. Now, we know 64 to the power of 1 half would give us 8, where the square root of 64 is 8. And then we have x to the power of 5 fourths. But one thing also we're going to want to do to simplify this is get rid of that negative exponent. And to do that, we'll just reciprocate y with what really would be y over 1. And reciprocating that, we can ignore the 1, but now that y is in the denominator. And that right there is our final answer. We really can't simplify this any further unless your teacher really wants you to put these more as a radical, okay? So that's finished. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.